well today today i'm doing something super exciting i'm doing my table decorations i've been waiting to do this for the longest time literally my new table and chairs got uh, uh, delivered yesterday and i didn't think i was going to get them before christmas uh, we moved into a new house a few months back and we decided to get a new table and chairs but because of covid there's been high demand for uh, Christmas deliveries and all that. So the company who got it off, there was massive delays. And we just didn't think we was going to get it for Christmas at all. But they rang us up last week and they said, we want to deliver your table. And I'm like, oh my God, I can do my Christmas decorations on it now. And I'm just so excited to show you how I'm going to be laying it out this year. And all the bits and bobs I've got for it. I just can't wait to show you. So let's get started. So here we are. I am just emptying the table and giving it a little clean before setting out decorations. Now I'm just looking through this big bag to see what I've got, uh, what I can use from last year, um, seeing if anything needs a clean. Um, just in general, having a good look of what I need, if I need to buy anything and yes so i'm just going to go and get my little cleaning stuff and start cleaning all the items just because they've been in storage you you need to give them a good wipe down before you place them on the table so now i'm just going to be putting my centerpiece together this i can spend hours trying to get straight but i've try to keep it to a minimum as I possibly can um, I got it straight pretty much straight away then I've got my garland uh, this is I got I got from next um, I absolutely love this one um, it cost me 30 pounds and it's got little lights attached to it as well uh, this is my candelabra I absolutely love this one um, I think it just sets it off a treat so now I'm trying to untangle things where you think you put them untangled last year back in the bag but then they get tangled again I don't understand how that's happened I love this little gold little trim I put around the garland really sets it off a treat then I've got these little lights here little fairy lights and I just literally place them over the garland just to give it a little bit more lights and festive So now I'm going to be reaching out for my bulbuls. I've got literally loads of these bulbuls in the bag and there's all different colours. There's, there's golds, silvers, burgundies, um, there's copper colours, all the kind of colours I love to add to my table layout. So I put plenty on there, really fill it up and make it look luxurious as possibly as I can so now I'm going to be putting the little under plates um, onto the table I absolutely love these ones they really set off the whole theme of what I'm going with and then I've got my cloth napkins which really really luxurious and you just feel like you're in a high high-end restaurant or somewhere like that when you've got a cloth napkin and it's just something I have to have when it comes to Christmas I don't know many cloth designs so I've gone for a simple fold um, I need to really try and practice on some new ones I probably will do that next year now but this will do for now then I'm just going to be putting all the cutlery inside the napkin so it's uh, so it keeps fresh and I just absolutely love it just poking out the top I just find it really nice and I just love it 
Then I've got these little leaf uh, gold uh, sequin ones. I absolutely love them. It just sets it off on top of the napkins. Then it's the glasses. I absolutely love these glasses. It's like a dusty pink ones. I got them from Asda. Um, they come out every Christmas and I absolutely love them. So now I'm going to be putting the candles on the candelabra. Uh, some have actually been burnt before, but I think I only had two what was burnt before. The rest was new, but that's absolutely fine. Then I've got these little like sequin uh, stars where I just literally pop them all the way around the table just to make it a little bit more sparkly. Now I've got these candles from B&M. These are the dusty pink ones and they came out this year. I absolutely love these ones. And for six pounds you get six. I think they're really nice and luxurious and they don't look cheap. And for six pounds you cannot really go wrong at B&M. Now I've got my hotel chocolate, uh, what I ordered a few weeks back and just setting the table off with some chocolate is a must. Then it's lighting the candle. Okay guys, so I've finished the table layer and it's turned out just the way I wanted it. Literally, it's in my eyes, it is one of the best I've done so far. Um, like I said before, this is a new table. So my old table came out to maybe about here, just before the uh, second cracker. Um, and it wasn't as big and we always used to have to have six people around it so I ended up having them at each end of the table which wasn't really good so my display had to be really squashed up and it just didn't look its best um, but this year we've got a nice big table and the layout I absolutely love uh, so as I said before, these crackers was from B&M, £6, super, super cheap and I went for a dusty pink, I always go for the dusty pink and golds and silvers uh, just because, I don't know, that's the colours I love for my table, I really think they stand out and it's something less traditional um, I, just, I don't know, I just really like the dusty pink and it just goes with the whole theme of my house as well because I just adore dusty pink to be honest. So just coming around here now and I'm just going to explain where everything's from um, and yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So as most of my family who come for Christmas Day, um, they'll know I always have a box of chocolates in front of the table so it just sets off Christmas just to make it a little bit more special than what um, a normal dinner would be. Uh, these are from Hotel Chocolate. I always get Hotel Chocolate every single year for Christmas just because I don't seem to get it throughout the year because it is very pricey but this year I've literally gone all out and we have got Hotel Chocolate. My glasses are from Asda and yet again they are dusty pink. I think they cost me a I'm not sure actually, I think they cost me around about £12 for the four and they're perfect but I haven't got four, I haven't got six of them, I've only got four but two of them won't be used because obviously I've got younger children so they won't, this is purely for the look uh, but I've just got a little standard glass there and at the end I haven't actually set that one out because that one's for my mum uh, because the UK is still in a lockdown where I live, I'm in tier three, so we are unsure if we are allowed to have any kind of relatives around for Christmas. So that area does look a bit sad and we are hoping we can have my mum for Christmas day, but I have just put the little, ta um, the little plate there with the cracker, but if she does come, I will put cutlery down and a napkin, but for now, that is how it's got to stay, unfortunately. I'm, I am hoping things do change, but we've only got a few days till Christmas, so it's not looking good, guys. Um, so my centerpiece, I've got a candelabra. I have a candelabra every single year uh, in my eyes. In my eyes, I would love this to be a bigger one, but I haven't got one this year. 
next year I'll probably invest in a bigger one because we've got a bigger table now but this will do for this year and and then I've got this beautiful wreath here and it just literally goes all the way across the table and I've put this beautiful like uh, gold uh, twinkly little um, it's like a mini wreath uh, to give it a little bit more colour and I filled the gaps in with lots and lots of little baubles because uh, that's what I do every year. I just absolutely love making the centerpiece uh, big and bold and it just really sets it off a tree. And then for my napkins, these are simple cloth napkins. Uh, I've just put a simple, um, like a, a gold little sequiny leaf over the top just to make it a little bit more festive i'm not really good with napkins uh, i don't know much designs but i just thought little touch there and you can't have christmas without a cloth napkin so yeah this is the set out i really, really hope you like it to be honest i absolutely adore it and yeah so guys if you have got a table set out and you'd like to show me give me a little dm on instagram because i absolutely love getting inspiration off people with their creations of their tables i i look online every single year to see if there's anything i want to introduce with my table layout and how i want it to be and i just absolutely love the inspiration these little like under plates here i got them from i think it was off ebay and there was the only ones I could find what was like a dusty pink. Um, I searched everywhere. I went to B&M, Asda, you name it, all across the UK to try and find some dusty pink little place, um, like little underplates. Uh, but I couldn't find any. And then one day I was on eBay and I found these. And I've not actually found any more since. So I treasure these ones. Store them really carefully because I absolutely love them. And these little, like, I don't know if you can see them, like little stars. I actually got them from Asda a few years back. And every year I use a few just to display on my table. And they've, they've actually lasted a good three or four years now. But I do look after all of my decorations. And the candelabra was actually from eBay. I got that around about four years back. Uh, it cost me around about £30, but it's really good. I keep it in good nick, uh, polish it, and keep it nice for every year. Um, if anyone was wondering, the garland was actually from Next. Um, I got a few of them, I did. There was £30 each, and the miniature garland I got from Asda for around about a fiver, and that was around about three years ago. So, yes, I have had some bits for quite a while, but... If you look after them, they will last, they say. So definitely, I just absolutely love this, guys. So guys, I really, really hope you like my little decorate with me, doing the Christmas table. I cannot wait for Christmas dinner now. I just, there's nothing like, there's nothing more I like than just sitting down on a beautiful table on Christmas afternoon uh, with my whole family and just having a beautiful Christmas dinner with the candelabra and it's it's just incredible for me i absolutely love it and then just having that christmas music in the background it's it's just everything i love it's i just can't literally i just cannot tell you how much i go to enjoy this christmas it's going to be incredible i'm so hoping that my mum can come and uh, join in with the celebrations but if we can't we're gonna have to make the most of it and just try and not put down on it because this year has been bad for everybody and we're just trying to make the best out of 2020 and hopefully in 2021 we are able to return family and we can have even a bigger Christmas next year but we've just got to try and make the most of it guys this year and yes if you have got this far and you enjoyed my little decorate with me Please guys, put me a little Christmas tree in the description because I love hearing from you guys. I love your comments, I love your likes. And like I said before, give, give me a DM on Instagram if you have done your table decoration and you'd like to show me. I love inspiration from you guys, I love hearing from you guys. So please give me that DM. And yes, like I said before, I really, really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Happy Christmas.